when you have that experience is always check the birth date. That's, mm-hmm. the, that's always the first thing. <laughs> the second thing is uh, I have found that well, this is how Ra used to say it. I don't like the way that this is being this this is being said, but Ra used to say, you know, you're giving a reading to the not self, meaning you're talking to somebody who's deeply conditioned usually, and when they're getting a reading, because you are transforming their story. If they have a big story around certain aspects in the chart and you're telling them, no, that's not who you are, that challenges that story. There are, when we look at, um, and and let's look at the open solar plexus as an example. It's totally, you know, we teach traditionally that the open solar plexus doesn't want to make a wave, right? They avoid truth and conflict. They are empathic to a fault sometimes right first of all you will have readings for people who who don't identify with that not many frankly with the open solar plexus but you will you might have people who don't and that may be because they come from a family culture that maybe didn't value not having conflict for example maybe they come from a family like i'll I always use my husband's family as an example um you know, where everyone has an open throat or non-motorized throat and open heads and ajnas. Like that's, that's like, it's, fin- it's an unparalleled quantity of humans that are genetically related that all have this, these similar features in their charts. So there's a family identity around needing to be heard. And consequently with the open head and ajnas things, needing to prove your point, right? That's part of the family culture. And let's say your friend was raised in this family, that can be perceived, these conversations that happen at the table can be perceived as being very emotional and emotionally charged when they're actually not emotional conversations at all. They're actually throat centers trying to be heard Mm -hmm. and Ajna's trying to get out the throat center. That's really a lot of what's going on there. It's not an emotional conversation, but it's intense. It's emphatic. That's what they say in in this family. They're being emphatic. if your client comes from that kind of an identity, she may perceive that as being emotional. And I think especially with the solar plexus, and this is why, I, again, I love level three so much because we're going to be teasing through a lot of vocabulary. But especially with the solar plexus, what we think of as being emotional is actually oftentimes not emotional. Mm-hmm. It's other things in the chart. And Sometimes, especially if you marry that, let's say like an open G center, and I don't know if she has an open G, if she has an open G, she may feel really, it's not unusual for sometimes when people have an open G for them to not be as aware of what they're feeling and what they're experiencing because there's, there's so much coming in and out. Mm-hmm. If they have a defined G and they're relating to their identity through the G, they might be not able to connect with the open solar plexus, especially because it's not getting to the throat if it's undefined, right? It's And anything that doesn't get to the throat is subject to sort of getting lost in your own self-perception. And if she's got a very strong identity for in whatever way, she might not be t- as tuned in to that solar plexus center as possible. And what I always tell people is, you know, don't take my word for it. If I'm doing reading and they're like, nope, 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 nope. And that's only actually happened to me one time. But if that happens and say, you know, sleep on this for a little bit. Really think about this and contemplate this and see what, what comes up for you later. I find a lot of times people come back and go, oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> you know, and then they're, then they're, they're sending well, you emails. 